Hello everyone and welcome to my latest video. So in this video, I'm going to try and clear up the confusion between the new naming of Facebook group units to guides. So Facebook in its wisdom has renamed its Facebook group units to guides. Now this has caused you quite a lot of confusion because as you know, if you are using Instagram, they have also introduced a new feature in Instagram called guides late in 2020. And guides on Instagram is like how you can create a PDF style um, guide with a collection of your posts. However, on Facebook, in the Facebook groups area, the units have always been used by lots of people to group together trainings so that people can actually move through those trainings step by step, one video or one um, piece of content at a time. And this has caused quite a lot of you a little bit of angst, really, because you've gone into your group, you've had lots of information in your units, and suddenly you can't find the units tab because you've had a guides tab. And some of you haven't gone ahead and clicked that guides button because you thought that it was the same as what's happening on Instagram. However, I'm here to tell you that actually the guides tab is the same as the units tab. Facebook in its wisdom has just renamed the units tab into guides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm gonna just show you exactly what I mean. So my name's Anita Wong. If you've never seen me here before, please do come and say hello in the comments below this video. I do answer any questions. So do drop me a question if you have it about Facebook, Instagram or live streaming. I help untech savvy entrepreneurs to become tech savvy so that they can build a business they want and to share their message in real time the way they want. So if that's something that would be of interest to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do give me the thumbs up if you enjoy this video. OK, so let me jump into my screen share and I'll show exactly what I'm talking about. So here on my Facebook group, I have my guides. Now, what used to be called units. So when I click on that guides tab, my units have been transformed into guides. They haven't changed in the way they look, except for the fact that it says guides two, guides three, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I just want to jump into my Instagram account because I want to show you why this can cause some of you some confusion. So here I am on my Instagram account and here in my area where my posts are, I also have a guides tab. Now, this is not the same as the units in Facebook because when I click guides here, what it allows me to do is create a, like a, a PDF style guide of a collection of my posts or other people's posts. And you don't really work through them, you just read them. It's a bit like getting given a guide at a museum or at a theme park you get given a guide like a map and you follow it round and you do what you need to do with it however facebook for some reason has decided to rename their units tab inside their facebook groups as guides and this has caused you quite a lot of confusion so please don't be confused by it it's exactly the same as it was before except it's called guides and not units so hopefully if Facebook are watching this video please take it back to the word units so that it stops this confusion between Facebook group units being turned into guides and Instagram being called guides because it does cause some confusion because the guides on Instagram are not the same as the guides inside of your Facebook group. Okay, so I hope that's helped clear up some confusion. Now, as a little bonus, I just wanna show you how you can create a guide or unit in your group, just so that it gives you a little bit of help. So to create a guide or unit, you click the create guide button and then you give your guide a name. So I'm just gonna put test here and then you give your guide a description. So in this unit guide, you will be able to, and then you put what you want it to be, and then you click save. Now, once you've created your, your new guide or unit, it's given a number, so guide number five. Now, what you can do with it is you can actually either create a post inside the actual guide itself, um, and that means that you click the create post and you actually put something in there and then. You can actually create a quiz. So when people have moved through your guide or unit, you can actually give your quiz a title, a passing score and the questions. And of course, you can add some different add some different answers and you can add some different questions. You can also reorder these questions and then you can click done. I'll do another video on that. So if you want me to do a video on how to set up the quiz inside of your Facebook guides or units, 
then do drop a yes in the comments below and I will do that for you. Now, once you've created your guide, you can reorder your guides by going over here on the left. So if you want this guide to be the first one people see, you click reorder and then you can drag it up to the top or the second one down. Click save, refresh your page, and it will, all, it will automatically move those guides around for you. So when I come back into my home page my, in my group, so let's go back to my group. Here, my guide is here. I click it and there's my test guide. So it's gone from guide number five to guide number two. Okay, so how do you add your posts to your guide once you've created them if you don't want to create it at the same time as your guide? So what you do is you go ahead and you find a post that you want to actually share. So let's just pop this one in here. You click the three little dots at the top right hand corner and you click add post to guide. So this used to be called add post to unit. So go ahead and click that. Choose the guide or unit that you want to add it to. Give it a title. So I'm going to do a weekly questions. And click save. This is going to add that to your, your new guide or unit. So as you can see, my new one I just created, which is the test one, is now does it has now got that question in it. Okay, so then when I go back to my group, remember that don't panic if you come into your group and you can't find a units tab, it's been replaced with the word guides instead of units. So it's exactly the same as it was before. Click on it. And there you have all of the units that you had created beforehand. Okay, so I hope this super quick video was super helpful to you. And thank you for coming over here if you were watching the live and you wanted to get the short recap. So this is a short recap. Don't forget that if you've enjoyed this video, do give me the thumbs up. Do subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about becoming a tech savvy entrepreneur who will be able to run their business and share their message in real time the way you want and not the way the tech makes you. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.